Hello everybody, my name is Bethany. This is my sister Sarah and her fiance, the Corey Jackson. We are here today at the Glass Factory. Big thank you to them for letting us use the space today. Um, today's class is gonna be just a, what I like to call a sweaty summer flow. So we're gonna get moving, get grooving, <laughs> build some heat today. And we're gonna start in child's pose. So <clears throat> you can come onto your hands and your knees, connect your big toes and then splay the knees out just as wide as comfortable. Forehead goes down onto the mat and fingertips reach to the top of the mat. If this is uncomfortable on your knees, you can always come into puppy dog pose where um, the hips are right over the knees. So just whatever works for you. We're gonna start out our practice today by taking some deep breaths in through the nose. And then on your exhale, open the mouth and just take a sigh. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale, sigh it out. Inhale in through the nose. And then exhale, sigh. So just beginning the practice by getting connected with your breath, feeling the sensation of the mat underneath your skin. Maybe roll the forehead side to side. <clears throat> and just kind of settle into your body, letting go of the past, letting go of the future, and letting go of all the thoughts that flood into your head. If you'd like to set an intention for this practice, you can do that. Or maybe it's just to connect the movements with the breath and move your body in different ways. So one more breath together here, inhale through the nose. Biggest breath you've taken today, suck in a little bit more air at the top, and then exhale, sigh. On your next inhale, reach the fingertips even farther forward on the mat, and then exhale, press up to a tabletop position. Shoulders go right over the wrist, hips go right over the knees, and the wrist creases are parallel with the front of the mat. On your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, begin to look forward, and then exhale, you round in the back, find your cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. And then exhale, round. One more breath in, drop the belly, lift the chest. And then exhale, round. Coming back to our neutral spine, take the knees together, big toes together, and then still pressing the mat away from you with your hands, just drop the hips over to the left. And kind of feel that stretch on the left side body. Take an inhale and exhale. Come back to center. Keep the knees and the feet together and drop the hips over to the right. Try not to sink into the shoulders. Come back to center. Press the top of the left foot into the mat and extend the right foot behind you. Toes point down to the mat. You can stay right here or you can ground into that right hand, reaching the left hand forward. Keep the ear and the inner arm connected. Toes point down towards the mat. Take an inhale in through your nose. And then exhale, take the elbow and the knee out to the side. So kind of figure four. Inhale, extend back out. And then exhale out to the side. Keep that core drawn in, inhale. And then exhale out to the side. Inhale, extend out. Take the left hand and the right knee back down. Tuck the toes and then lift the knees, floating them just above the mat for a floating tabletop. So neck is still nice and long. It's kind of just like a modified plank. Take an inhale in and exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale, drop the knees, extend the left foot to the back of the mat or to the back of the room. Toes point down to the mat and then right hand reaches forward. Spread wide through the fingertips and keep your gaze down on the mat. Inhale through the nose and then exhale, figure four, the arm and the leg out to the side. Inhale, extend. 
and then exhale out to the side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, extend out, take the hand and the knee back down and then float your tabletop. Knees float just above the mat. We're just taking three breaths, so inhale and exhale. Keep the shoulder blades pulled apart. Inhale, sigh it out, exhale. Inhale, draw that belly button deep in towards the spine. Exhale, drop down onto the knees, and then take a few moments to just take the left hand up off of the mat into a fist and do some circles. Either direction, left hand comes down, right hand comes into a fist. And then plant both hands down, cross the feet behind you, and sit down onto your bottom, and lift the feet for half a boat. So we want to make sure the spine is nice and tall if you need to Plant the feet down to keep the spine tall, you can, or maybe you just lift up one leg at a time. If you want to take it up into full boat, you can extend the legs straight up. Great job, guys. <laughs> so spread through your toes, and then reach the hands forward. You can always take them down by your side as well, whatever's easiest. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Inhale, sit up a little bit taller, exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale, keep the legs exactly as they are, hands come behind the head, and then extend through the right leg, right elbow comes to the left knee, and then exhale, switch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back up into your half boat, lift the feet, and then exhale, we're going to squeeze and float the feet and the shoulder blades just above the mat. Yep. And then inhale, we're coming back up half boat just two more times. Exhale, squeeze and hover. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze and hold for three, two, one. Knees come into the chest, rock side to side. And we're going to take the feet straight up towards the sky. Palms are down by the bottom. They're down facing the mat. And then we're flexing those toes towards your face and we're squeezing the thighs. From here, you're gonna lower your legs together just until your low back starts to come up off of the mat. And then once you're there, we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep that low back pressed down. Four, three, two, one. And then take them right back up to the sky. So act like somebody's got a string on your belly button and they're pulling that down towards the mat. So really press that low back into the mat, lower the feet till your low back just starts to come up and then pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your legs there, hands come behind the head. If you need to raise them a little bit, you can. And then exhale, crunch the shoulder blades up off of the mat. Inhale, and then exhale, inhale. Exhale, three, two, one, hold, and then lower the right leg to hover just above the mat. Try to keep the shoulder blades up off of the mat, and then exhale, switch. For 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, smiling, four, three, two, one, both feet rise straight up towards the sky. Three leg lowers, exhale, lower the feet, to hover just above the mat. You can take the hands down by the sides if you need to. Inhale, rise, and then exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lower. We're doing two more. Inhale, I lied. Exhale, <laughs> rise up, inhale. Exhale, hover for three, two, one. Knees come into the chest, rock side to side. It's the only way to get people to do more core, guys. You just have to fib a little. Just kidding. <laughs> just getting evil eyes. So knees come into the chest. We're gonna roll forward and backwards three times. So just massage up and down your spine. I'm sweating already. Yep. <laughs> and then plant your hands at the top of the mat on that third roll. We're gonna find down dog. So bicycle the knees, lift the hips up towards the sky. Maybe you alternate lowering one heel down at a time. Maybe you come up onto the toes and lower the heels up and down. And then look up between the thumbs and find a forward fold. 
Take a soft bend in the knees, grab opposite elbows and let the head hang. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. Release any tension in your jaw and your forehead. And then bend at the knees, rise to stand, inhale. And then exhale, hands to your heart, close your eyes, repeat your intention, spread through the toes, and then inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift on your inhale. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to a high plank. Keep the belly drawn in. You can always drop down to your knees if you need to modify. Shift forward slightly, keep the elbows tucked into the sides, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Rise up for a cobra, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, down dog. Big inhale in, big exhale out. Look at between the thumbs, walk or hop to a forward fold, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend at the knees, rise. Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop the feet back to a high plank, lower down, chaturanga. Rise up for cobra, thighs stay on the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, down dog, lift up with the hips. Inhale in through the nose, look up between the thumbs, walk or hop, forward fold, half lift. Exhale, fold, rise to stand. Big breath out, exhale, fold, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop the feet back, lower down, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, thighs can come up off of the mat. Exhale, down dog. Look up between the thumbs on your inhale. Exhale, walk or hop, fold. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Two more together, rise to stand, big breath in. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back, lower down, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Really connecting with the breath. Big inhale in through the nose. Walk or hop on your exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back. Lower down, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right leg rises up towards the sky. Inhale. On your exhale, round in the back, draw the knee into the chest and wiggle that thumb or the foot all the way up in between the thumbs. Stay on the ball of the back foot and rise up, crescent lunge. So we're strong in the legs, back thighs, squeezing and reach up as high as you can. Hands come down to the mat, step back, lower down, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog, left leg rises. Try to keep those hips even, and then draw that knee into the chest, round in the back, wiggle that foot up between the thumbs, and rise up for a crescent lunge. So reach up towards the sky. You can look up between the hands, or you can just keep your gaze forward. Hands come down to the mat, step back, run through your flow. Or you can always skip the flow and head into down dog. Look up between the thumbs, walk or hop, forward fold, half lift. Exhale, fold, rise to stand, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back, lower down, chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog, right leg rises, inhale. On your exhale, take the foot between the thumbs, rise up, crescent lunge. So strong in the legs. Hips are square to the front of the mat, and we're not letting those ribs stick out, but we're drawing the belly in. Big breath in, and big breath out. Maybe you sink a little bit deeper, squeezing through that back thigh. From here, hands come to the mat. On your next exhale, we're gonna switch. Left leg comes forward, right leg shoots back, rise up. So you're rising up on your inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, and then switch. Right foot comes forward, inhale, rise. Two more times, plant the hands, exhale, switch, right leg shoots back, rise up. And then hands come down to the mat, exhale, switch. Rise up, inhale. Reach up as high as you can, draw that belly in. Hands come down to the mat, step back and run through your flow. 
starting to really get the heart rate up high. Left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, take that foot up between the thumbs, crescent lunge, rise with the arms, smiling. <laughs> Hands come down to the mat on your exhale, switch. Right leg comes forward, rise up, inhale. And then exhale, hands come down, switch. You can come up onto the fingertips if that makes it easier. Rise on your inhale. Two more times, exhale, hands down, switch legs. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, hands to the mat. Left foot comes forward, right foot comes back, rise up, crescent. Draw that belly in, ribs are not sticking out. Reach up a little bit higher and sink a little bit deeper. Hands come down to the mat, step back, lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths here in your down dog, inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Look up between the thumbs. Exhale, walk or hop, forward fold. Bend at the knees and hips, rise to chair. So draw the belly in, ribs aren't sticking out. We're taking our booty under, finding our ugly butt. I know that they really like that word. <laughs> we're gonna take three breaths. On the third breath, we're lowering the bottom down to the mat, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, lower the bottom down, lift up through the feet and find a half bolt. So spread through the toes. If you want to take it into full boat, you can extend the legs, keep the spine tall. And then you could use your hands. We're going to plant the hands. We're going to come up off of our bottom chair pose or plant the feet and use the hands. Draw that belly button in one more time. Inhale, exhale, lower one third. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, lower the bottom down to the mat. Feet come up half boat or full navasana and then plant the feet down onto the mat they can be hip width distance apart you can use your hands rise up chair pose big breath in and exhale lower keep the left foot where it is step the right foot to the back of the mat crescent lunge so hips are squared to the front of the mat strong in the legs right hand comes down left hand reaches up towards the sky keep that back thigh squeezing so we want to make sure yeah and from here we're coming into a side plank so right hand and foot stay where they're at left foot steps back to stack on top of the right yes you can always drop down onto your right knee you can lift that left leg do whatever feels good to you great job guys you can shift your gaze up towards the top hand or down to the bottom or just keep it neutral. And then left forearm comes down onto the mat. Spin onto the side of the left foot, stack the right foot on top of the left, right hand reaches up. Forearm side plank on the left. And then right forearm comes down, forearm plank. So keep that belly drawn into the spine. So we don't want that hips sinking down an option to stay right here or you can lift this left foot up off of the mat and exhale take the left knee to the left elbow extend it right back exhale left knee left elbow extend it back exhale left knee left elbow place that left foot down and then same thing on the right right knee right elbow inhale extend back exhale for two inhale exhale one Come back to your forearm plank. Come back up to your hands. Exhale, down dog. Great job, guys. Bicycle the knees side to side. And then walk your feet a little closer. Yeah. Sinking in. Take a big inhale in through the nose and spread wide through the fingertips. And take your feet about hip width distance apart. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Inhale and exhale and then look up between the thumbs walk or hop forward fold half lift exhale fold this time we're going to step the left foot to the back of the mat come into our crescent lunge draw that belly in 
So we're strong in the legs. And then left hand comes down to the mat, right hand reaches up. Nice long line through the hands. We're gonna come into our side plank on the left. So spin onto the side of the left foot. Stack the right foot on top of the left. Again, you can take your gaze wherever it feels good on your neck. Lifting up through the hips. The right forearm comes down onto the mat. Spin onto the side of the right foot. Stack the feet, lift the left hand. Great, Sarah. Left forearm comes down onto the mat. This time we're gonna walk the feet close to the elbows. Dolphin. So just down dog on your forearms. Keep your gaze at your toes. You can also connect your hands together if that's easier, pressing the pinkies into the mat. And then keep the elbows right under the shoulders so they're not splayed out too wide. We keep them nice and close. Walk the feet a little bit closer to your elbows. Draw that belly in. And then press up, downward facing dog. Bicycle the knees, side to side. Looking up between the thumbs, walk or hop, forward full. Bend at the knees and hips, rise up, chair. Ooh, definitely sweaty. <laughs> so in your chair, you don't have to um, keep your feet together. You can take them hip width distance and make sure your feet are in line with one another. Draw the belly in. Hands are gonna come to the heart. We're twisting to the right. Left elbow comes to the outside of the right knee. And then make sure that left knee is not poking too far out in front of the right. They're nice and even. You can open up the arms here. If you have a side crow in your practice, you can place the hands down onto the mat, about shoulder width apart. Great, Sarah. Or you can just stay in your twisted chair. Coming back into our twisted chair, if the hands are apart, they're going to come back together we're staying in our twist right foot stays where it's at and you can take one big hop with that left leg or a couple of baby hops until it's at the back of the mat high lunge twist and then rise up with the arms crescent lunge spin down onto the side of the left foot so it's parallel with the back of the mat and then take the arms out by the side warrior two so squeeze through the shoulders and spread through the fingers Gaze stays over the right hand. And see if you can press that right knee out just a little bit. Yes, sink a little bit deeper maybe. And then we're going to walk this left foot in just slightly and then turn that left foot out. We're coming into our goddess pose. Cactus the arms out to the side. Yes, so toes are kind of pointing at the corners of the mat. Knees are in line with the toes. We're gonna pulse for five four, squeeze through the shoulders, three, two, one, and then come back into our high lunge. So the, on the ball of the back foot, heel is lifted. Inhale, reach up as tall as you can. Exhale, drop the left knee down and then press it right back up. Inhale as you lower. Exhale for two, inhale. Exhale, press it back up. From here, lower it down and leave it there. Untuck the toes and lift the hands up towards the sky. So belly's drawn in, gaze is down towards the mat, and then maybe sink a little bit deeper as long as that belly button's still drawn in. So we're not caving in the low back, but keeping that pelvis nice and neutral. Left hand's gonna come down to the mat. Right hand comes on to the inside of the knee. You can wiggle this foot out just a little bit if you'd like. You can come onto the side of that foot if you're Ankle stays flexed. You can also bend at this left knee and reach back and find a quadriceps stretch. So we're drawing that left foot in towards the bottom. It's a nice thigh stretch. And then not slingshotting by releasing, but slowly release it. Hands come around this right foot. We're gonna tuck the toes on the back leg, knee comes up off of the mat. Walk the fingertips forward just slightly and then this left foot's gonna rise up off of the mat. One hand at a time, we're gonna take the hands to our heart, coming into a warrior three. 
Big breath in, big breath out. You can airplane the arms out to the side. You can reach them to the back of the mat. You can reach them forward. Do whatever feels good to you. One more breath in. And then slowly, we're gonna lower the left foot down to meet the right. Bend the knees and hips, rise up with the arms, chair pose. Draw the belly in. Hands come to the heart. Keep that core engaged. Try to find a nice long spine and then twist to the left. Right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. You can open up the arms here, do whatever variation you found on the other side. So you can find side crow. Since there's like, no, no. it's fine. <laughs> no side curl in the left. So we're going to spread through the left toes, ground them down into the mat. Take one big hop or a couple of baby hops until that right foot's at the back of the mat. High lunge twist. Great job, Corey. <laughs> it's okay to make noises as you practice. Can open up the arms here. Great, Sarah. And then rise up with the arms, crescent lunge, and then warrior two. So we're on the side, it's parallel with the back of the mat, knee stays right over the ankle and we're squeezing through the shoulders. Stay strong in your legs. Sink a little bit deeper if you'd like. And then we're gonna straighten out this leg just slightly, walk the left foot in Walk both feet in a little bit. Turn the toes to the corners of the mat. Goddess pose. Squeeze through the shoulders. We're going to pulse 10 times here. Option to come up off of the heels onto the balls of the feet and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming back, crescent lunge. Hips are squared back to the front of the mat. Inhale, reach up as high as you can. Exhale, lower the right knee and then press it right back up, exhale. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press. Inhale, squeezing through the glutes, press back up, and then lower that foot or that knee down, untuck the toes, low lunge. Pelvis is nice and neutral. Gaze is on the mat or just in front of the mat or forward. And then maybe you sink a little bit deeper Right hand's going to come down to the mat. Left hand comes to the inside of the knee. You can wiggle this left foot out to the side. You can find that bind with the back leg if that's what you'd like. Bending at that right knee, reaching back with the left hand. Big breath in and big breath out. Big breath in. Draw that foot in a little bit more towards your bottom. Breathe through the stretch. And then slowly releasing that foot. Walk your hands around the left foot. Take that back knee up off of the mat. Walk the fingertips forward just slightly until that right foot rises. This left knee keeps a soft bend in one hand at a time, taking the hands to the heart. Find your warrior, three. You can take whatever variation with your arms feels good one more breath right leg lowers down rise up with the arms inhale so we're going to take the feet about hip width distance maybe a little bit wider and then turn the toes out so a little bit wider than hip width distance hands come to the heart and we're just taking a slow bend till we're coming into a low squat Elbows come onto the insides of the knees. You can wiggle the feet out or in, whatever feels good on your knees. If this is hard on your knees, you can always come up into a higher squat with the hips level with the knees, hands on the insides. So keep the gaze down, hands stay at the heart, and use your elbows to press the knees out to the side. Ground through the toes, and keep the spine nice and tall. From here, we're going to plant the hands. We're gonna shoot back to our chaturanga, lower down, and then press right back up, high plank, and then down dog. Look up between the thumbs, and you can step up there if you'd like. We're just gonna take a big bend in the knees and then find that low squat again, so the feet go out to the edges and lower the hips down, hands come to the heart. So we're gonna do that four more times with the breath. 
Make sure the knees are nice and comfortable the whole time. Plant the hands, shoot the feet back, lower down, chaturanga, press back up, high plank, down dog. Look up between the thumbs. You can step or take one big hop to the hands, or the feet go to the outside of the hands, lower the hips. Rock side to side. Three more times, plant the hands, exhale, chaturanga, press back up, down dog. Look up between the thumbs and take a big hop to your low squat, rise up, hands come to the heart. Two more, plant the hands, press back, lower down, chaturanga, press back up, down dog. Look up between the thumbs, big bend in the knees, float the hands to the outside of the pinkies, Low squat one more time, guys, and smiling, plant the hands, shoot back, chaturanga, high plank, down dog. Bicycle the knees side to side here, stay in your down dog. Great job, guys. Big inhale in through the nose, and then side out of the mouth. Inhale, and exhale. We're going to end the practice with some handstand hops. So whichever foot feels most comfortable to you, we're gonna take that foot to the center. And the other leg is gonna rise up. So hands are at shoulder width distance. We're really grounding down through the hands. And we're gonna just take some small hops with that bottom leg. So whatever leg that is for you. You can just raise the heel up and down if that's easier to you. The hops don't have to be big at all but that top leg is gonna reach up towards the ceiling and that bottom leg is gonna come in towards the belly. And just play around with it, do what feels good to you. Great job, guys. Just do about three more hops. Great, Corey, good job, that's really good. Great, Corey, go Sarah. And then after that third hop, good job, guys. We're going to find a child's pose. Forehead rests down onto the mat. Big inhale. Big exhale. Big inhale. Big exhale. And slowly come back up to your tabletop position. Tuck the toes, float the knees up off of the mat. Floating tabletop. Last real big movement of the practice you can stay right here if you want to take it further you can extend the left foot back and exhale take the left knee to the left elbow inhale extend exhale left knee left elbow inhale keep everything else still exhale left knee left elbow left foot comes back down right foot extends back exhale right knee right elbow inhale exhale inhale exhale Knee to elbow, float the foot back up off the mat. Knees stay floating, one more breath in. And then exhale, drop the knees down, shake out the wrists. Great job, guys. You can give each other a high five if you want. You don't have to if you're at home. You can give yourself a high five or a pat on the back. Shake out the wrist however you need to. We're gonna lie down on our back. Great job, guys. <clears throat> Knees come into the chest once we're there. And then extend the right leg long, left knee stays in. And then twist. Taking the left knee to the right side of the mat. Maybe you take your right hand onto your heart and feel your heart beating under your chest. Left knee comes back to center. Take it straight up towards the sky and then lower it all the way down. Right knee comes into the chest. And then find a twist. Right knee goes to the left side. Right arm can reach out beside you. Take your left hand to your heart if that feels good. And then right knee comes back to center. Take that right foot up to the sky and lower it all the way down. And then take your hands by your side, palms facing up, shoulders are as far away from the ears as they can be. Feet are slight out to the side. The back of the neck is pressed into the mat. 
and let every single muscle in your body feel at rest, supported by the mat. And come back to your breath. If you've lost that connection, feel the rise and fall of your belly. And be proud of yourself for all of the hard work you've just done, for taking the time for yourself, for connecting with your breath and allowing yourself to be still when everything else around you is just going and going. Three breaths together to end the practice. Inhale, press the belly and the chest up. And exhale, sigh. Inhale. Belly and chest balloon up, exhale, sigh it out. Shoulders and hands and feet feel heavy, inhale. Balloon the belly and chest up, hold the breath, and then exhale, sigh. Eyes are closed. Mind is still. And then you guys can stay in your Shavasana. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me. Stay here as long as you like. I hope that you all have an amazing and present day. Namaste.